Uh, my name is Johnny Turpey. I'm the director of digital media at Maverick Television. I also founded Maverick 20 years ago and uh, as an independent television production company and have seen its growth across television but also into the multi-platform digital media environment. Maverick began producing in the West Midlands and uh, we now have an office in London and we have an office in LA. And what we're doing at the moment is producing a range of broadcast production across a range of channels. Currently, today, we're um, ITV's Island Hospital, uh, Embarrassing Bodies, um, uh, Operation Ouch for CBBC, which is a children's television health series. Uh, all those programs all have online uh, content alongside them, i.e. a website, some very small websites, but some extremely large websites. Embarrassing Bodies itself is now a live offer 24-7, and uh, over 2 million viewers, users, uh, engage with Embarrassing Bodies online every week. A television show is very important in its own right. It goes on a mainstream uh, channel and a mainstream outlet through TV. However, as we know, everybody's got a computer in their pocket, in their smartphone, and they've got a PC next to them. It, those new devices are opportunities for uh, delivering further content and further interactive content than the simple one-off TV production. In addition to our television production work, um, we have built a whole range of other activity that is um, uh, not uh, designed to be delivered on television. It's designed to be delivered on PCs or phones. And uh, that work has um, taken us into an interesting range of places. Some very public sector work that we do through uh, delivering digital services to the health service in the UK, um, where we create content and interactive applications for both staff within the NHS, but also patients of the NHS. And uh, we found that to be an extremely interesting uh, opportunity to go with the times, to go with the things that the people in the public want, i.e. they have phones, they have PCs and they want to have their services delivered on those 21st century mechanisms and devices rather than on bits of paper that get lost. But equally in the private sector um, we've just um, arranged um, to deliver two um, channels for Google's YouTube service. So we're going to do a health channel and a um, lifestyle and makeup channel and uh, they'll be delivered 24-7 all year round. And it's a very big development for digital media where the, the search engines are starting to commission channeled content, editorially developed and creative content in a way that um, they have not done to date. So it's a big opportunity for us all. The landscape of uh, media production has changed over the last few years more and more rapidly. And that's led to some challenges around cost, i.e. costs come down, quality goes up, difficult to balance that sometimes. Um, but what we've tried to do is to continually develop a multi-platform approach so we're not just making one bit of content for one device. We're actually making content that can be spread around a number of devices and therefore amortise costs across those uh, services. I think what we've also done from a business point of view is um, we've always tried to build on what we have. So we might make an interesting television series about uh, lifestyle. So then we try and make another one, or another one alongside that, for other broadcasters, for other clients, for other devices and other services. And so rather than just always looking at one outlet, look at a range of outlets. Uh, starting up uh, media companies is difficult. It's not easy. It relies on lots of past as well as future opportunities. It de demands a commitment to the business that you want to create, and it also demands a great working relationship with a whole range of people, not just the commissioners on that side, but internally as well, and making sure that the right jigsaw of staff in the company works to, to, to the greater betterment of the company in the long term. And I think that sort of uh, management of your company is important to remember as you're an enthusiastic individual or a couple of people, actually, you, you're going to grow and you've got to be able to grow that company with the right sort of staff to create a larger whole as you move forward. Digital and media companies are uh, an attractive opportunity for a number of people. Um, it is a good industry. It's a wide-ranging industry, and that's to be applauded. It's tough, though. It is very tough. We have a development team that we've built up over the years that we um, employ in order to create ideas, to network with commissioners, in order to 
grow the opportunities across platforms that we have. Um, but our hit rate is incredibly high, i.e. 1 out of 30. So 30 ideas might, just might, get one success. That's what you have to do in order to grow the right ideas to create successful uh, products. It's multi-platform, multi-device and multi-interactive. It's no longer sit back and consume, it's sit forward and participate. Con content is uh, not cheap. Um, even though you might think you're getting it for free, you're not. There's, there are ways and means of content from being paid for, and some of those are the obvious uh, advertising routes, uh, others are uh, more application routes um, and data routes. Um, consumers are uh, showing that they are prepared to pay a little, usually a little, for content or an application, not a lot, um, because they feel that uh, the internet in particular is a place where services are and content are uh, very cheap. Creative industries have generally been associated with film and television, and quite rightly so. Um, but there are a great many skills that are within the creative industries, and include in, in, in terms of the growing digital media industries, that are um, transferable across industries. We ourselves at Maverick spend a lot of time working within the health industry, and uh, we enjoy that, and we bring some um, skills and knowledge and technologies to that sector, and we learn from that sector about what we can deliver. So it's about us adapting to new marketplaces. Design is such an important part of everybody's lives, whether it be cars or mobile phones or teapots or whatever, and uh, the creative industries can participate in all those industries. And rather than be seen as a siloed, separate, distinct, unique, different industry, we're not. We're just a part of industry, and we can apply our skills and talents right across industries. Be open and enjoy change is probably what I would say would be something to remember as you progress your business.